Perfect. So welcome to uh, this new Gimor Lab meeting. So today we can start by reviewing the action items we have for, from last week. So as far as I see here, there were three main points for you, Georg and me. I did mine, which was opening an issue about adding the, the text we mentioned in the about panel uh, in Seagulls. What about you? Oh, I'm I'm uh, creating a pull request right now to uh, add the note to the readme. And then I also created the issue for the website. So here I can post in the chat or in the in the um, document the links to the issue and pull request that I created. Does that work for you? Yes, I'm pasting also the issue I created. I'm able to copy it correctly, which is not happening. <laughs> yes, here it is. So this is about the issues and and a pull request and well the first thing we have in the notes was the discussion about the roadmap so as Luis mentioned there was also another discussion about the project JSON and and the STRI, the tool that it's going to manage all the stuff related to configuring projects in Grimoire Lab and finally, I think we have, or we had the panel or the dashboard that Georg started working on last week about the time of day and day of week of the, the contributions. And I'm not sure if I'm missing something. If any of you miss something, please talk now. I think that's an accurate resemblance of what we did last time. Okay, so next we'll be deciding what to do today. I'd say we are not going to discuss about the possible collaboration with Augur because Son is not here and as far as you see there isn't anyone from Augur. So talking about the project JSON maybe is something that we can do another day with some people from Augur in the conversation, but I don't know if Santi or Miguel Angel that are here would prefer to do something today because they are here. So maybe I can show you the document regarding the Grimoire Lab roadmap that I was writing. That would be nice. And then one thing we can also do today is look at how we can export and import panels, maybe. How can we import and export panels? Oh, okay. Yeah, as uh, Georg has the, the dashboard from last week, we can follow on that and try to export the dashboard and follow the contributions guidelines, or at least have a look at the contribution guidelines so Georg can end with a pull request. So, okay. So how can I share this with you? Or where should I put it on? If you share your screen, you have a button at the bottom of the Zoom. Okay. Just in case you want to share that. If not, you can perhaps. But it's a Google Docs document, so I don't know if I can share here the there's a link on something. Like oh, I was, I was maybe, maybe Santi, you, you could uh, click on chat and post the link there. Okay, let me check. I'm saying sharing your screen so you can show the document on your screen. Well, what do you prefer? 
both. Just do both. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, this is a problem. I can't send you the the link because it's related to Vitergia. So yes, you can. You can how? open the settings and then expand it even more. And after some more clicks, you can finally say everyone. Okay. Okay. This one. Okay. Okay. This thing first. So chat here. And now the next thing is to share the screen. Try. Mm. Okay, do you see now the screen? Yeah, I can see that. Great. So well, the first thing about the remote lab uh, roadmap, I try to to create a the vision of the of the product that we are developing. So those are the first lines of the of the first paragraph of of the of the roadmap. I think you maybe all agree with this. So I'm not going to. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to explain it, but uh, so here in this part, what we are, what I'm trying to say is that this is only for the uh, 2020. So let's see how it goes. Uh, it, during this year, we are going to, to spend time in doing these three, five things, which are based it on data retrieval, data management, data visualization, monitoring and, and releases. And here I, I explain the main points of the main actions we are going to take. So the first thing will be like to work in data retrieval. So far, we have been doing this most of the times with Mordred, but I think that Arthur now is ready to be in production. So anyone can install it and anyone can use it. So the idea is to just improve it a little bit more and remove the support from Mordred. So if you want to, if people want to, to retrieve that data, Arthur will be the best option to do that if they want to have a task scheduler to do that thing. If not, they can still use Perceval or they can develop their own, their own uh, scripts for that thing. Any question about this? Nothing? So after removing the scheduling from Mordred, what does Mordred focus on then? Mordred will be only in charge of a enrichment phase. And gotcha. so, but the idea is to remove that part also from there. But it will be a different step in if we are if we have time, it will be great to do it during this year, but I'm not sure. But I would like to do that. But but for now I think this is enough. So the next thing we are going to that we are going to work on is the data management. So we are going to create an API to store and to read uh, the raw data. Raw data is now stored stored in uh, Elasticsearch. But the idea is to have an interface that will be useful to say, hey, if I don't want to use Elasticsearch, I want to use MySQL or MongoDB or 
whatever, uh, hidden files. So the idea is to create that API and to put in, to, put in, to, to connect that API with Arthur and with, with other tools. So it will be transparent for the other systems to write or to read data. This is only a, for raw data, okay? I have a question. Tell me. So API access to store access raw data. Why, why, why only raw data? What's the difference to the enriched data? Why not also provide access to the enriched data? Okay, so the idea is uh, we want to store raw data as, as documents as we do now. But enriched data probably won't be stored that way because my idea in the future is to use something like a graph database. So the queries there will be more complex and it, it won't work the same. The idea here is to store, is to just only get the data as is in the, as is retrieved by Perceval, okay? So that's why, uh, that's why this API, it, it will only work for that. Because it, it will be, it will have access to the documents as, as they are in, in the data source, well, mostly. Okay. Does, uh, does so it make sense or? I, I'm trying to, Think what is the value of providing that API? Well, the thing is, now everything is uh, the integration with Elasticsearch is too tight. So you can there are many parts in the code where Elasticsearch is everywhere. So if we if tomorrow we want to use something different, we know we need to remove all that all that stuff and to create and to replace it by something else but that's not a good thing it should be if you if you want to read or to write data with something in with uh, another system in another system sorry it's better if you have an interface not not as we have now which is integrated with other modules so for the raw data alone, we could switch to a different backend and store it as raw JSON files or a different database or something. Exactly. But, okay, gotcha. Okay. So the next thing will be, well, uh, speaking of data manage, management, uh, we will work all in bestiary. We were talking about this before this meeting so the idea is to improve it and to integrate it to integrate it with Mordred but not as is as is it now. So it's uh, it will be a probably a graph QL ser server. So it will be easier to get the tree with to get a tree or a JSON document with the structure of a project or a project or a dashboard, etc. So that's the idea about this thing. And the next thing is to create a UI to to manage uh, all this stuff. Like uh, if I want to add new projects, if I want to add new dashboards, if I want to remove them, if I want to whatever. Any questions so far? I'm excited for that UI part. Okay. Uh, Sandeep, I have a question. So, as far as I remember, so what's the difference between when you say new version of Bestiary to manage project and UI to manage analysis scope? Is there any difference between Bestiary and the UI? Yeah, because Bestiary is, is only going to be a service. Okay. So the user interface will be a, a totally different thing. Okay, okay, okay. So, the idea is you have that service, you get the data, you write in the service, but it will be on your side to decide how you want to draw those things or how do you how will you manage that part. Okay. 
pre previously the bestiary version was both things, right? No. Yes, exactly. Okay. So the mm -hmm. idea is to get rid of that part and just to keep it like a sales. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So that relationship is like the sorting hat and hat style relationship. Yeah, exactly. Something like that. So the next thing will be data visualization. So the first topic will be, well, the first thing will be to integrate a Grimoire Lab with OpenList. Oh, well, better than integration, maybe it's, I will say, support or something like that. The thing is, as open distro, well, Valerio that is here can say it better than me, but the idea is uh, open distro uses a, a different version of Elasticsearch uh, of, um, of Kibana, different to the one that we support in Grimoire, Grimoire Lab right now. So we need to, to add some features to, to support open distro and those databases. Uh, the database and the, and the, and the database and the and the visualization part of that, which is Kibana. Okay, and we will work in also in panels. Okay, typo here in panels management. The idea of this is, is to improve the how we import of how we export panels. So I have a question about panel mm -hmm. management. Is so what would that look like? Would this be command line tools? Would this be an integration in Kubeter where I can import export right out of Kubeter? Is this like the um, add-ons store for Firefox or Chrome where you just go to a Seagulls page and from there you can just install it in your own Kubeter instance. What, mm -hmm. what do you manage, uh, imagine this panel management look like with this new? Well, now I think uh, in Detergia we, Detergia we did this, during the last year we created this tool which is uh, Archimedes. So it's a common line tool to export and import the panels using the the API that Elasticsearch provides and Kibana prov provide. So this is that will be the first step, probably. But we can explore any other kind of, of thing because the idea under this is to create collection of panels and to try to have a kind of a, a store or web store or something like that where anyone can upload their panels and don't download other panels and then to import them to in Kibana. But it would be also nice to have something like a plugin in Kibana or something like that to, to import these this collections. Okay, so, but that is not part of this roadmap then. So we need to decide. I, I keep it like Valerio told me about this and I said, well, let's keep it like as open and as wide as possible because there's, an, uh, there's no, we don't have, we don't have a strong opinion about how to do this. So we don't have it very clear, clearly right now. So it's, uh, it's open for discussion. Well, I'd say we know which is our, our main requirement right now. And the main requirement is to have the common line tool because uh, currently we need to upload all the dashboard, all the dashboards for each uh, uh, environment. So that's why this is the, the first part. But uh, the future will depend on the, the vision of the product in terms of Maybe in the future, we are not going to have these standard dashboards that are uploaded by default. So in that scenario, maybe we don't need this and having a plugin or something like that to access this market or whatever, it's the, the way to go. But this is not a, 
a discussion we are having right now. So I'd say we are now working on the things we need to support to have the the things working like like they they are working right now. But in the next months, maybe this could change because we finally decide to to move from this approach to a different one. I don't see it's a, an easy movement in the sense that as Viteria, we cannot uh, uh, change all the stuff so easily because there are a lot of customers that already are using the standard panels. So we could think about this for for new environments, but for the ones we have, I'd say we need this command line tool and then start building things on, on top of this. But this is my view. This is not the Viterja's roadmap or the more lab roadmap or, or whatever. It's something that I think and I don't I, I didn't have this discussion with anyone else. So you are free to to drop your opinion in this conversation. Okay. Maybe having a store for visualizations and panels would be a good feature for Cauldron. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, so that, that could be the way to go. <coughs> Cauldron could be easy, easier to, to add these kind of things as they don't have any uh, strong limitations and i can i say something can you hear me yeah i can hear you okay now i was i was thinking that this discussion uh is a strange discussion to have because if we are looking at the current grimoire lab uh, roadmap part of the discussion is about how how we intend to be as much as noxious as possible in terms of the database we're gonna use to store the data and to connect, to connect with things. So adding new features to Kibana is just to it's a strengthen or making stronger the tie we have already with Elasticsearch as database and Kibana visualization tool. So I would like to have this in, in, in Grimoire Lab. I, I'm thinking, I'm talking about Grimoire Lab. I'm not talking about Viteria, I'm not talking about Cauldron because those are very different things. I'm talking about Grimoire Lab in the specific thing here is, is to have tools that are the simplest to use as possible. And first of all, Kibana already supports to import panels one by one, all the panels you have in a dashboard. So making a command line tool could be enough to make that easier. Having that as a plugin for Kibana, okay, that could be convenient, but will require more work when the, the thing is already solved. And from there, having things like a plugin in, like a plugin in the browser, things like that, I think that could be nice. But I wouldn't ask that as as a requirement from the Grimoire Lab uh, toolset. I would say, but, that, uh, but but again, this is my opinion. I'm not talking about Viteria or Cauldron uh, at all. Because those are different things, and probably that is related with an internal discussion in Viteria, not a remote lab uh, discussion. Okay, yeah. But that's what I meant with funnels management, and that's what I wanted to say only funnels management. Because as it's not clear, just let's keep it as open as possible so we can have a discussion about this. and. Let's see, but my idea in the future is to get rid of panels too, but we cannot do it now because it's already supported, so we'll see. So the next thing is monitoring, and the idea is to visualize all the art of tasks and jobs. In Viteria, we are creating a, a tool, so it's just a proof of, conf of concept right now. But I think at some point we can decide and say, and to move it to to Grimoire Lab if people want to, if people like it. Uh, we need also to improve the log log messages. 
during the last month we have been working on that but i think we should work more so the idea is to have better and clear messages so anyone monitoring the platform can understand what's going on and the last topic and the last theme is related to releases so the idea is to create automated releases right now we have something something that is partially automated but it's not uh, but it's not as automated as i want it's we have uh, some scripts that create the, the release and uploads some some stuff but nothing to create the change log nothing to update the data versions well the release version etc so my idea is to work on that too and while we work on that we can work in have a better communication of the ch changes that we made in the platform so the idea is to create this change log that will be a that will be that well my the idea is to that this change log the change change log that we have now it's only meant for developers but the idea is to create something that anyone can read and anyone can understand what's going on okay we will also need tools to upgrade the stack when something in the platform changes like uh, okay this enrichment there was a there was an, a bug in bug in this en, enricher the idea is you need to remove all the data and to en, re enrich data again so that's a process that is done manually so the idea is when there's a release that break that introduce breaking changes the idea is that the tools will regenerate that those data automatically and also the last well and the last point is the redefinition of the release artifacts right now we have uh, three different kind of packages one is the docker images the other one is the pip packages and the last one is the target so the contents of these images is not clear in the doc in the case of the docker images the content are not really clear and i don't think they are useful for a real use so we should improve that and we should which will make easier to use the platform the same speaking of pip packages and targets okay and this is all but as i said before this is only my idea i want my idea and and i get the i get i got feedback feedback from some people so there are some people that agree with me others not so i'm gonna send this to the mainly list grimoire mainly list so people can so we can start a discussion there and we can decide if this is enough if or not if we need to remove things from here or at others or whatever okay and of course uh, there's a big disclaimer here which explains that this is only for informational for folks there is a question in the chat oh i can't see it so so how can I go then? Okay. So Luis is asking is if the UI to deal with the repositories. So he's asking is the UI to deal with repositories going to be integrated in Open Distro? Well, I I don't I don't know what do you mean with what he's asking about this do you understand the question or 
or maybe if Luis is here, he can explain it better. Hello, folks. Can you hear me? Maybe now? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, my question is related to the UI, uh, the, the, the one who is going to use bestiary as far as, far as I understood. Uh, I guess this UI is going to be JavaScript integrated in Kibana or something like that. Am I wrong? Again? The UI, we, uh, the UI uh -huh. we are going to develop to deal with repositories and so on. Uh -huh. is, this, is this UI going to be uh, integrated with Kibana or so the you, Kibana? Uh, you are saying that if Kibana, if in Kibana there's going to be like a plugin or something like that where you can add or remove repositories. Yep. Uh, no, at least now it, that's not the idea. Okay, and I have a second question. Uh, what about the, the order? I mean, this, uh, these five different topics, uh, is this the, uh, are they ordered by the, by the, the, from first to the latest one? From, from the first one we're going to work on to the, to the last one? No, 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 that's, that's only the roadmap. So uh, I saw the other day in that Slack has a roadmap in Trello, and they categorize the 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 things they are work to work in. They are going to work in something like uh, future future features and. Incoming features or something like that. I can share. I can share with you. That. Let me try to find it. So, do you see the screen? The Trello. Yeah. Okay. It looks like a party. <laughs> yeah, it does. So they have here like three columns. One is released, the features that they released. One is long term, mid term, and the last one is near term. So I think we can have something similar in in Grimoire Lab using the maybe the GitHub thing that they have for for Kanbans and so on. So we can create something similar to this and and, and categorize uh, the tasks regarding the importance of them. Do you think that would be nice or I think this is this is a, a simple approach. Um yeah. Uh, and yeah, I think we should keep it simple. So yeah, I like the idea. Okay. I also like the idea of having a GitHub project Kanban for the roadmap. Okay. So let's do that. But the idea of that Kanban is not to include like a small task or something like that. It's to include something, to include things that they have here, which are probably high-level topics. Yep, I, I like the idea. OK. So, OK. So Andy wrote here his two cents in the chat. So I agree with him. And maybe we should work on this thing, too, to try to explain all the or what he is asking. In this Sorry for interrupting you. So I have to leave now. Uh, so thank you all for the discussion, and it's, it's been great to to have uh, to have uh, discussed the roadmap. And I think this is also interesting. The trail of thing about having this organized uh, in terms, uh, and okay. I think that's it. On my side. 
Okay. Thanks, Nayla. Thank you. Bye. Okay. So I think this is all regarding the roadmap. Anyone else can want to say something or we should move or should we move to other topic? Nothing. So okay. What do you want to do next? We only have like eight minutes. So um if you want we can save these eight minutes of our life. Okay. Okay. So yeah. we can stop here and yeah. Uh, I have a question also on the roadmap and how to proceed from here. Okay. The um the the Kanban that you showed has the long term, mid term, near term. Uh huh. Do you have an idea for the proposed roadmap? Which ones would be long term, which ones need term? Yeah. So maybe more of the thing. So I think that the short term would be Arthur because we are really close to to have it. And during that time, I think we should work also in bestiary. Those are the places where we should put more effort. But of course, this is open to anyone. So if we, we find something out there with the, that wants to work in a different thing, it will be great. Just a question. What about sorting hat and the API and UI for that API? I'm using that in the roadmap. So, the, uh, well, that's a, an interesting point. So we can discuss about that. I'm open to to add that thing, but uh, if you want that, it's necessary. We can work on that too. No, I mean, th there are several issues open it in sorting hat about the API about Hashtag, and I know you have been on. I know you and also Miguel Angel that is not here has been working on improving that and moving that to a GraphQL API. And I think it's a key component in Grimoire Lab. So basically, not having any mention to that in the roadmap, even if it's close to be released or it's going to be close to be ready, I think that's important. That's it. Okay. So it's going to it's going to open a discussion about the tweeters that people have asked about uh, adding mal actions or how to add uh, domains and companies to certain hat. That is one of the missing points in hat stuff. Uh, like that. Okay. Let me refresh this certain hat. Uh, make model yes. Well, yeah, so I add your, those two topics, so yeah, we should work on this too. By the way, Santi, what's, what's the status of, of sorting hat and the new API? What? What, what is the, the status? So we are almost done with that. The problem is, uh, once we have that, there's also, we need to create a client 
like the client that we are using now. So you can have the same feature that you have now. Because otherwise you will have to do everything using a GraphQL queries. So we have most of the server is implemented. We still need to work in the in the in in the client. So there's a roadmap about sorting hat. So it's let me go there. So, so the roadmap is in the one of wikis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is that. I'm gonna share this with you in case you want to check it out your own. So these are the well, I explain here what the purpose of this. So these are the tasks tasks that we already complete. Everybody, everyone but this one here, and these are unscheduled tasks. So we once we complete all these tasks, we can move to these other ones. Okay, so this is the status. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so anything else? Not from my side. Okay, so it's going to be time and I have to leave also. So thanks for your time. Yeah. Thank you for the roadmap, Santi. You're welcome. Well, we need to decide about this. It's just a proposal. proposal. Version. Okay. Thank you to you all. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.